And welcome back, everyone. Our men and women in blue protect and serve the people in their communities every day while sometimes putting their lives on the line. Yeah, it's important for us to never forget those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. And Officer Travis Wass with the Grand Shoot Police Department and Katie Connell with Q90FM join us now to talk about a candlelight vigil tomorrow to honor the fallen officers of 2018. So, guys, thanks for joining us. And this has been going on for a few years now, uh, Officer Wass. Why don't you tell us what's happening tomorrow night? Tomorrow night is our candlelight vigil. Fox Bay Law Enforcement is coming together to honor those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, first, we have two speakers. The first speaker is Officer Seely Moe from the Fox Crossings Police Department. He was involved in both Trestle Trail incidents. And the second speaker is Outagamie County Sheriff Clint Crewald, and he'll be talking about kind of his unique uh, path to law enforcement. After that, we'll have a reading of all the officers that paid the ultimate sacrifice in 2018, 158 officers. A moment of silence for them and ending the evening. Now, why is it so important to, for everyone to remember those who sacrificed everything? You know, it's, it's the ultimate sacrifice. Every day we put on this uniform, we don't know what we're going to expect. Um, every call is different, and no call is um, quote unquote ordinary. Uh, and when we have a loss of life, it's felt throughout the law enforcement community. And it takes us, you know, it forces us to take a step back and think, wow, that really could have been me. And by honoring them, thinking about them, and reading those names at the vigil, it's our way of saying, hey, you may be gone, but you'll never be forgotten. Now, you're really encouraging the public to come out in a strong show of support tomorrow, right? Absolutely. This is a, a free public event. Come and join us. Um, we're kind of pulling back the curtain. The stories that will be shared tomorrow aren't typically the stories that are shared with the public. These are stories that are shared uh, in the briefing room, you know, just amongst colleagues. So we're kind of pulling back that curtain. Come in and share with us. Maybe laughter. There may be tears. It's going to be impactful. Now, Katie, tell us how Q90 is involved in this. Well, you know, we actually got involved back in 2016 mm -hmm. when kind of everything was happening in the news. We were seeing so much, and everything kind of escalated with the Dallas um, officers that were ambushed, and a couple of them killed. I think six were killed in 2016. And that's what we are talking about. We're trying to do something to offset what we're seeing nationally. And being showing up for the vigil is just such a good way to support these guys, for them to look out and see so much of their community show up. So that's, I mean, absolutely important. Get out there. Let them see that community support because that's what it's all about. So we went from what do we do? I have a little guy that was watching in 2016, and he was eight years old and looked at me and said, Mom, when I'm old, nobody's going to want to be a police officer. And that's when it was, you know what, I need to figure out to do something. So Q90FM has a program where we collect donations. We turn all those donations into gift cards. And then we stock all of the officer squad cars, 20 different precincts throughout northeast Wisconsin. And now they have these gift cards throughout winter where they can help somebody in need, whether it be with a warm meal or hat, boots, whatever their needs are. So it's really great that we get to go from tomorrow night to kicking this off and having this uh, vigil, which is what National Police Week is. And then Monday night, we're going to kind of kick out and have a little bit of fun at the Timber Rattler Stadium. Yeah, and uh, real quick before we go to break, uh, the ticket proceeds, tell us how that works, how it, how it helps our uh, local police Yeah, officers. if you go online to purchase your tickets for Monday night, which you totally want to, if you're going to be at a Timber Rattler game, Monday night's <laughs> the one to be at. Um, you go online, you purchase your ticket, and you use promo code BE A LIGHT, and then $2 of your ticket's going to go towards the Lights of Christmas, helping us buy those gift certificates. So. You get to be a hero. Nice. <laughs> all, right, all right, very good stuff. We'll have all that information posted on wearegreenbay.com after the show. But tomorrow night, the candlelight vigil, there you have it right there. Taking place in Appleton from 6 to 8 o'clock. Go up and support our uh, local police departments and those who sacrificed everything so that we can live in freedom and peace. So, guys, thank you so much thank for you. your time. Officer Wass, thank you for your service to uh, the Grand Street Police Department. And stay with Local 5. We're back with checking your forecast right for this.